Okay, we're going to make an object that's a bit like a petal shape. It's basically going to show you how you can draw an object and mirror it to make something like this. To begin with, you're going to need a blank screen. Okay, and off the tabs at the top, we want to be in the sketch tab. We'll start by drawing a skirt circle. Okay, you can choose any radius size you want. I'm going to put 20 in here and just make it a nice even number. And then you want to draw a line through the center. Remember, the computer will guide you, help you draw exactly down the center through the beginning and the middle of the uh, circular space. Next, we want to use the spline tool. I'm going to use the spline tool here because I want to join these two surfaces together to make my petal shape. Okay, don't worry about too much about it at this point. What I'm going to do here is use the trimming. Make sure you're on the trimmed closest. And you can now trim away some of the design. Okay, I'm going to trim it so it makes a petal shape. At this point, you might want to edit your shape, pull the nodes and adjust it to get it to be the shape that you want it to be. Okay, I'm going to go with a shape like that. Okay, we need to mirror at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to here, Mirror Entities. You click the tool at the top. First of all, it wants to know what you want to mirror. So we want to mirror this side using your shift key on your keyboard. Select all the lines on one side of the petal. And then it wants to know where to mirror. Okay, so it's already selected the lines it wants to mirror. Now it knows wants to know where about. So I'm going to tell it to select it from down the center. There we go. It's now mirrored it. Okay. I'm going to need to delete away the center line so it leaves just a petal shape. There we are. Trimmed away the center bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is, is rotate it. So I'm going to select the whole thing just by using the mouse. So it collects all of the different parts of the petal shape that I've done. And this time I'm going to go on a linear pattern here. But I want to do it in a circular shape. So I tell it that's what I want to do. I also need to tell it where to start from. I want it to start from this point here so that it spins the petals out around in a circular point from here. So from the point that it's got... Let's see, we'll increase it up to more numbers. But I need to let it know where the point's going to be. The point is here. There we go. So it's begun to spin it around that center point there at the bottom. You can see you can select whether to do a whole 360 degrees or less than that if you want to. And you can adjust the number and the amount of rotate times it will rotate around the center. I think this particular petal will only do four because any more than that and it begins to overlap. So I'm going to decrease it back down to four. OK, so we've got that far. Now what we need to do is to extrude it. So I'm going to tell the computer we're happy with those drawings. I'm going to now extrude them. I'm going to extrude them up a slight height here. We've got a whole centimeter, 10 mil. If I click on each one of these objects, one in turn, it'll begin to extrude it and turn it into a petal shape. There we go. We've got a petal rotated design. OK, we could Fill at the top of these as well if we wanted to. I think I'll turn it down from a whole centimetre, make it slightly less, and just fill at the top surfaces of these so it will curve them slightly. There you go, you can see it's now filleted it. I can increase this fillet, edit the feature. Let's see if we can go any higher. Let's try six, see what it does. There you go, it's done it more. So that's six. I'm going to do that again, fill at the other surfaces. The tool at the top here from the features tab. Click on each one of the surfaces and tell it to fillet it at 6 mil. Should do each one of them in turn. And there we have it, a finished design.